हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू फाइंड 8 पॉइंट डीएफटी ऑफ ए गिवन सीक्वेंस यूजिंग मैट्रिक्स मेथड व्हिच इज सेम एज लीनियर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो हियर दे हैव गिवन द सीक्वेंस x ऑफ n 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 फॉर दिस सीक्वेंस we need to find 8 point dft using matrix method we know xn is equal to wn into xn here n is equal to 8 because they are asking us to find 8 point dft for this we need to write 8 cross 1 matrix for wn term we need to write 8 cross 8 matrix and for small xn we need to write 8 cross 1 matrix so here we have written the matrix for xn, since it is 8 point DFT, we will write 8 values from x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4, x of 5, x of 6 and x of 7. For wn, we need to write 8 cross 8 matrix which should consist of 64 terms. To write this matrix, we understood with our previous two problems that uh, we can write uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Here we can write 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So W8 we have written since n is equal to 8. So to the power of 0 because 0 multiplied with 0 it is 0. 0 multiplied with 1, 2, 3 and all these values it will be 0. That's why in the first row we have written W8 to the power of 0. In the first column, again 1 multiplied with 0, 2 multiplied with 0, all these values multiplied with 0, it will be 0. That is why we have written W8 to the power of 0 in the first column. Now to write this row, we need to multiply 1 into 0, it is 0, 1 into 1, it is 1. Likewise, we multiply the values and we will write the power of all the W term. After writing 8 cross 8 matrix, we can write matrix for xn which is 8 cross 1 matrix. So we have written x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3, x of 4, x of 5, x of 6 and x of 7. After writing this matrix, we need to fill the twiddle factor values. To write the twiddle factor values, we can use two methods. In the first method, we can go with the formula method where we know wn is equal to e to the power of minus j 2 pi by n. Also we know that wn to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Using this we can write w8 to the power of 0 is also equal to 1. To find this value w8 to the power of 1, we can write it as e to the power of minus j 2 pi by 8 into 1. So for this we can write cos 2 pi by 8 minus j sin 2 pi by 8. So keep the calculator in complex mode and radians mode. Substitute this value, you will get 0 0.707 minus 0 0.707 j. So in the same way we can calculate it for w8 to the power of 2. So that can be written as e to the power of minus j 2 pi by 8 into 2. This we can write it as cos 4 pi by 8 because 2 into 2 it is 4, 4 pi by 8. So that's why we have written it as cos 4 pi by 8 minus j sin 4 pi by 8. So if you calculate using the calculator, you will get minus j. Likewise, you can find all the values of Biddle factor. This is the first method. In the second method, we can consider the unit circle. Since it is 8 point DFT, we can divide the unit circle into 8 points. So we have divided this unit circle into 8 points and for each point we have written the values. We know on the real axis this value will be 1 and towards left hand side this value will be minus 1. In the imaginary axis here it will be j and towards this end it will be minus j. For this point the value is 0 0.707 minus 0 0.707 j. This we have already calculated here right. Towards this point, the value will be minus 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707 j. So in the same way, this point it is 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707 j. So the opposite point, it will be minus 0 0.707 minus 0 0.707 j. 
After writing these values, we can write the Tweedle factor. So we can start with this point. We can write it as W8 to the power of 0. So we can move in the clockwise direction. So we will write W8 to the power of 1, then W8 to the power of 2, W8 to the power of 3, W8 to the power of 4, W8 to the power of 5, W8 to the power of 6, W8 to the power of 7. After writing 7, we will repeat the values here. We will write it as W8 to the power of 8, W8 to the power of 9. Likewise, we will write all the values. So once we write these values, we can easily find out that W8 to the power of 0, W8 to the power of 8, W8 to the power of 16, 24, 32, 40 and 48 will be having the value as 1. So we can fill those values in this matrix. In the same way for different Vidal factor values, we can identify from this circle and we can fill the matrix. Once we write the Tweedle factor value, we will get the matrix like this. After getting the matrix, we need to multiply this matrix with this matrix. So this is the standard Tweedle factor value for 8 point DFT. So you can remember these Tweedle factor values or if you don't remember these values or if you don't remember this matrix, you can use those two methods which we have discussed to find the values and you can substitute the values. So if you remember the value, once you write the standard matrix, you can directly substitute the values, no need for calculation. So if you don't remember the matrix, you need to go for calculation method, then you need to fill the values here. Once you enter the values of Tweedle factor, you need to multiply the first row with this column. So if you multiply those values, so you will get 20, second row with this column it will be minus 2 plus 4.82 j third row with this column if you multiply you will get minus 2 plus 2 j fourth row with this column it will be minus 2 plus 0 0.828 j fifth row with this column it will be 0 sixth row with this column it will be minus 2 minus 0 0.828 j seventh row with this column you will get minus 2 minus 2 j and eighth row with this column if you multiply you will get minus 2 minus 4.82 j so finally we can write the 8 point dft for the given sequence is 20 comma minus 2 plus 4.82 j comma minus 2 plus 2 j comma minus 2 plus 0 0.828 j comma 0 comma minus 2 minus 0 0.828 j comma minus 2 minus 2 j comma minus 2 minus 4.82 j so this is the 8 point DFT for the given sequence. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.